In this video, let's discuss the types of computer network. A group of computers connected that allows the computer to communicate with another computer and share their resources, data and application is called as computer networks. The networks are classified based upon the features like size, physical architecture, the area it covers, etc. Each network differs in its characteristics such as distance, transmission speed, cable, cost, etc. A computer network is mainly classified into four types LAN, WAN, MAN, and PAN. LAN Local Area Network This network is designed to operate over a small area like a building, office, etc. This type of network is usually owned by private people. We use this network to connect personal computers, workstations to share resources and exchange information. The communication medium used are twisted pair, coaxial cable, etc. All the machines here are connected to a single cable. This technology is very less expensive to implement because we operate only in a small area. We can obtain a higher speed. Different topologies like bus, star, tree, ring, etc. are used here. Here the first figure shows the LAN with a bus topology where all the computers are connected through a single cable. While the second figure shows a LAN with a ring topology where the ring topology is like a bus topology but with connected ends. Personal Area Network or PAN a computer network that is organized by the individual user for its personal use is called as PAN. This network consists of devices like computer, tablets, phones, etc. This is usually used for communication among these devices where one master device takes up the role of the internet router. There are two types of personal area network. One is wired personal area network and second one is the wireless personal area network. In wired personal area network, the connection happens through cables, wires, etc. While in wireless personal area network, the connection is through the signals like infrared, Bluetooth, etc. Examples of personal area network. In small home office, a separate smaller network is set up for work purposes which are separated from the network used by other home appliances. Offline network. We can create an offline network inside the home, which is also called as home network. Multiple devices are connected through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. The devices that are attached to a computers like printer, mouse, speaker, etc. are integrated using PAN and do not use the internet. Body area network. A network that moves with a person is called as body area network. For example, a mobile network moves with a person. Advantages and disadvantages of PAN Advantages PAN is easy portable. It is relatively low cost and it needs easy setup. It provides high efficiency for short network range. While disadvantages are limited to comparatively low data rates, low network coverage range. Devices are not compatible with each other. MAN Metropolitan Area Network A network that covers larger geographic area by interconnecting different LANs to form a larger network is called as MAN. This covers a bigger area than LAN but a smaller area as compared to WAN. Both uses the same technologies. It might cover a group of nearby offices or city. This can be either private or public. The resources can be shared between land to land as well as device to devices. Modem and wire or cable are the devices used for transmission of data through MAN. The best example is the cable television network available in many cities. MAN is used in communication between the banks in the city, the military, a college within a city, 
and an airline's reservation. Wide Area Network or WAN A computer network that extends over a large geographic area like states, countries is called as Wide Area Network. A WAN network is much bigger than a LAN. In this type of network, a LAN connected to other LANs through a telephone line, fiber optic cable or satellite link could be a WAN. Most WAN network are used to transfer large blocks of data between its users. The internet is the biggest WAN in the world and it is widely used in the field of business, governments and education. There are two types of WAN, switched WAN and point-to-point -point WAN. It is difficult to design and maintain WAN. Due to long distance transmission, the noise and error tends to be more in WAN. Examples of WAN are mobile broadband, private network, etc. Advantages and disadvantages of wide area network. Advantages. A WAN provides a large geographical area. We can share resources and softwares like RAM, hardware, etc. In this network, the messages are exchanged very fast. For example, in applications like WhatsApp, Facebook allows us to communicate with each other. Centralized data. All the data is centralized in this network. Global business. We can do business globally over the network. Disadvantages are high setup cost. The installation cost is very high as it involves the purchasing of routers, switches, etc. Need firewall and antivirus software. The firewall needs to be used because the data transferred of the internet can be changed or hacked. Security issues. The WAN network has more security issues as compared to LAN and MAN network. So we can conclude saying that there are many advantages of LAN over MAN and WAN. Like LAN provided excellent reliability, high data transmission rate, etc. This can be easily managed and shares devices too. Local area network cannot cover cities or towns. For that we need MAN, which connects cities and or group of cities. For further connecting a country or a group of countries, one requires wide area network. Thank you for watching the video. For more details, please visit our website or mail to us.